Hello everyone. Uh, my next episode um, where in which I'm going to share with you four main points. I think they will be quite extensive. I'm very happy that my videos uh, have become shorter. Uh, I think I have more chances that people will listen from the beginning till the end. Still I cannot see uh, the number of views. I hope it will change uh, very soon. So, first of all, I do my vlog, as you have already noticed, about my life, my ideas about my life, and what happened, like what experience I have from the previous years, and what plans I uh, make for the future. But uh, in, the, in the near future, I'm going to surprise you, because I would like to give in every new video my piece of opinion, a piece of humble opinion, and not so humble opinion, um, about some political news that I uh, consider interesting. For example, today I have a day of Portuguese, and I already know what kind of news I would like to present to you tomorrow. It's not that new, but people speak about it in Portugal. Um, some sort of, uh, like, that has a similar effect uh, that the story about uh, Julian Assange or although I have to say that I have little interest in this story I will give you some sort of uh, other sort of views that I consider very interesting point number two yesterday I was talking about artificial conception and freezing my egg cells um, this is what, as uh, my gynecologist said, well, because I have been, I have been working with my gynecologist for about, here in Belarus, for about, how long, 21, let's say 21, end of 21, end of 2021 until that day, uh, and I absolutely love her because she's extremely competent, uh, competent, competent, so, um, she taught me, and I agree with her, um, every woman after 35 um, should freeze her egg cells. You understand? Let me repeat. Every woman after 35 should freeze her egg cells. Eggs. Because you never know the number of eggs um, decreases with age because we're losing uh, we're losing blood cells every month so the number of eggs decreases and uh, the chances of getting pregnant decrease as well that's why it's so important until we have enough of them to freeze them right now I uh, I don't have uh, the necessary amount of money to do this but I have uh, come very close to this. Um, so I, I have done a number of tests already. Yes, uh, people, usually women uh, do it in uh, the countries where um, it is more affordable, like Belarus and Russia, uh, also Poland and Hungary, especially Hungary. When I lived in Austria, people and women from Austria went to Hungary to their dentist, to their hairdresser, or to the nails, from Austria to Hungary. So you have to imagine. Number three, a little bit, uh, some, some little story from my previous experience. When I shared, so uh, why I would like to talk about this topic, artificial conception, freezing egg cells, all kinds of stuff, it was a huge, huge uh, scandal in Austria surrounding me, of course. Mm -hmm. Surrounding me because I shared this uh, news and this plan with Stefan and immediately I was uh, restricted and blocked because people in authority could not believe how can this woman from Belarus be so knowledgeable and know more than we, and know it earlier than we. 
arrogance, right? Arrogance. What can you say? How dare you be more mature than us? And to cover the fact that I am more mature than the people who were constantly on my tail, um, messing with my life and destroying my relationship, and relationships with other people. How did I start the sentence? Yes. How dare you be more mature? So to cover this fact that I'm more mature than them, um, they started laughing at me. I hope very much they feel like idiots. Like seriously, hope very much they feel like idiots. And uh, despite that the time has passed, time has passed only a little bit. You have to understand, only a little bit. It's not 10 years, it's just two years. Uh, there are people who still cannot accept this idea and want to make me angry because I feel it. They want to make me angry. And uh, I can promise them that I still keep this desire to hunt them down when I'm back. No matter what kind of authority, I this time will hunt them down. Hold on. So this night I saw and heard and felt my husband Stefan. Um, he was completely on my side and I hope he can watch my video, this one. Special hello to him. That I heard him uh, this night. Um, my aim is to give him strength and belief in himself. And I hope very much to see him soon. Um, ideally here in Belarus. So I hope he will get his strength and bravery to come to Belarus. Because as we know, uh, not everyone in his society supports this idea. I believe he can overcome um, the unfair judgments and unite with me. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.